What's up guys and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's Killer in Purple Remastered. As you guys know in the last video, we did a lot. We unlocked Eleanor and MXES and uh, we got to play around as, as them and, you know, do some goofy stuff. Now we're going back in today because this is going to be a fun video. We have a lot to do. So Golden Freddy Cinema sent me an email with everything that I should do, all the Easter eggs I should find, and we're going to be trying to do as many of those as we can in today's video. It's going to be a longer video, so stay tuned. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe right now because obviously if you want to see more of this game, get subscribed, all right? We just hit 4 million and we're already on our way to 5 million. So thank you guys so much. Anyways, Let's go ahead and press play and hop into the game. So the first thing that he tells me to do here is, well, actually, oh, what is this? Only available, oh, these are exclusive characters to certain events. I didn't know that. All right, well, now those are locked behind that. So, I mean, the, both of those events are coming up, though. Halloween's next month, and then, of course, Christmas is at the end of the year. So uh, let, let's see here. I want to go to Eleanor and Entity. Now, here's why. He actually told me that he updated the game, and now they each have an ability. So let's start as Eleanor and see what she's all about. Now, he also said she doesn't sit down all the time now, so <laughs> this is big news, all right? Not being able to sit down all the time, that's huge. All right, so her ability is Tinker. Make suits worth two times more for 10 seconds? Oh my, okay, yeah, her ability is insane. I mean, you buy her at the end of the game, so it's not like the most insane thing, but like, that's big. Like, you can make huge money now with her. So basically, you would have all of the children follow you, bring them into the back room, you know, knock them all down, which, by the way, they are some kind of AI robot thing. We've confirmed it. And uh, you just use this ability and then shove them all into the suit and you get double the points. So you can make like 60K per day or something like that, which is pretty wild. All right. So uh, the first secret that we want to do, though, it says go into the lake at OMC can only be entered from the right side. All right. So let's see here. So to go to the lake, we got to go on this, flush ourselves down the toilet. And he says can be entered from the right side of it. It teleports you slightly back. Okay. So... We got to go here and enter the lake through the right side. Oh, there we go. And then it teleports you back. Okay. Um, just keep walking. It'll give a glitchy effect. Oh. Aha. Why am I Fujo? <laughs> Hello, Fujo. Hello. I've been watching you. Kind of creepy. You're also whispering into my ear very loudly. Very loudly. And I've seen you play these games from Goldie. Ah, okay. You inside my PC? I don't know if you've already beaten him in the horror park. Oh, I have. I definitely have. But I do know that you must never play the parts within. What? What does that mean? Is that a new game? Goldie's protecting you from it, but I have the feeling something bad is going to happen. But as long as Goldie is here, I don't think I have much power or much to worry about. But oh my. Let's change that, shall we? Ooh. Oh my. That is so loud. He closed the game. First of all, loud jump scare. And then you're going to close my game. That's just rude, man. Come on. Come on, that's what you could have done to me. That, that's that's the best you could do. Loud jump scare and closing out my game. That's just mean. I'm starting it back up right now. I'm sure you guys can hear it. All right. By the way, Park of Horror, that's a game that needs a remaster. Like, I'm talking like a full remaster. That game was so fun. All right. So let's go ahead and go back. Let's try out uh, Entity MXCS. Yes, let's see what his new ability is. So we'll spawn in FNAF 1. And there we go. By the way, okay, so wait. The Scott boss battle is the next one that he mentions here. So we're going to try that out. Uh, teleport to level 2. This is determined on which level is closest to you, and we'll choose the next level. Huh? Okay. So wait, I just press Q and it teleports me to FNAF 2? Oh. Huh. I mean, I guess that could be useful. Like, this is still a character I would never play just because of how he moves. But I mean, it's a cool, like, mechanic to have a move like Like, it makes sense to have a move like this, but he just moves so incredibly slowly. Um, but okay, so you get all the children to follow, follow you, then you'd press Q to go to the next level. Yeah, okay. Alright. I, I could see this ability. And then Oh, wow. Oh, so you can teleport really... Oh, there's no delay. Oh, okay. Okay. This guy's... I could see him being kind of interesting. Still would never play him, but it's a cool idea to be able to just, like... I can just, like, constantly teleport. <laughs> this will just break the whole game. I just keep on teleporting. All right. All right. He kind of saved this character. Not ever going to play him, but he kind of did save him. All right. So, from the next secret, though, he says the Scott boss battle, the office door opens once you've completed the ending plus credits, which you have done. Oh, so that's what the secret was that we... Let me see. Let me see this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Um, and it says, click the phone five times. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, wait. Um, no, I don't want to fight him as the entity. I'm teleporting away. <laughs> what if I teleport away? Does he even follow me? Where, wait, he's taking damage. How? Where is he? Dude, it's so dark. I don't even see or hear him. Why is it so dark? Okay, I'm in FNAF 1. Where is he? What? <laughs> he took damage. I don't know where he is, though. <laughs> Hold on a minute. It is so dark in here. 
We chose the wrong character for this fight. Oh, look at the animatronic eyes, like in the FNAF movie. They turn red. That is cool. All right, let's go outside real quick. I can barely see. Yeah, there's nothing out here. I, I, okay, new, new plan. We need to go back to the main menu. <laughs> we definitely need to go back to the main menu, and we need to, like, play a different character. Anyone but the entity. <laughs> Literally anyone but him. All right, you know what? Let's do, uh, let's do Pit Bonnie. Yeah, here we go. All right, FNAF 1. Let's go ahead and spawn this guy in once again and see if we, what we can do here. Because he somehow took damage and they disappeared. My guess is maybe he fell out of the map and it, like, damaged him? Because I, I didn't see him anywhere. So, because I, I think us teleporting kind of broke him. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're in. So, where is he? He's around here somewhere. I know he spawns in once he hits 100, right? Okay, so there he goes. He's at 80, 90, and where is he? Oh, there! He spawns outside! <laughs> Wait, why is it red in here? What the? Uh, oh, he spawns outside, though. That's kind of funny. Wait, how do I fight him? Do I just, like... Oh, my God. How do I fight him? How do, he's so tiny, by the way. How do I fight him? I, I'm, I'm trying to... Okay, I, I don't know how to fight this guy. <laughs> I thought, like, you could punch him or something, but it's not giving me the option. Um, There's got to be something I can do, right? And I'm trying to suit. Can I throw it at him? Is there children I can toss at him? Anything at all to slow this man down? I need something. Uh, he's just... <laughs> He's giving up. Well, let me see if I can just tap him real quick. Hold, let me just give him a little, little love tap. No. Oh, I can pull out the knife. That's right. Oh, well, he's stuck. So, uh, wait. Look how long it takes to recharge. Oh, yeah. No way. <laughs> I'm going to be here for the next three years fighting this man. He's not even moving. All right. I'm going to defeat him, and then I'll start it whenever we do that. Guys, five minutes later. All right. And he's finally dead. <laughs> Blows up. <laughs> he explodes. Oh my goodness. He blew up from the inside. What is going on? There we go. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I get the the Scott statue though, as you guys can see on the bottom right there. Right next to Pit Bonnie where he belongs. Pit Bonnie's the one who destroyed him. So it only makes sense. All right, so that's that secret. Now, the next one we have here is... Okay, so he says Eleanor has a new um, ability, which we already know. Um, and so does... Yeah, both both the characters that we already played have new abilities. Okay. Um, wait, what is Eleanor and P-I-T-S-B? What? What is P-I... Is it Pit Spring Bonnie? P-I-T-S-B. Oh, yeah. It's Pit Spring Bonnie. Oh, what does he say? It has a new ability in this update. Okay, hold on, let me see. I, I was I didn't even realize. All right, wait, let's check this out real quick. All right, uh, what do we got? Is it 10? No, wait, what? Has a 10% chance of learning all kids. We did that. Huh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess P.I. I thought Pit and then SB, so Pit Spring Money have a new ability update. Ever quest from you? Yeah, so I, I don't know. I have no idea what the new ability is because it's always been 10% to lure all of the children. So I am not too sure. Maybe there's something else that I'm missing with him that, uh, is new but it says ability so i i don't know because yeah we did i used that last time when we were fighting scott and it, it yeah it didn't work but obviously it's a 10 percent chance so it makes sense all right what's next uh you your more poster settings should be working okay we, we can try that out uh extras menu oh yeah i forgot about that the extra where's that at i did not like notice that is it like right on the menu let's see here um no where where is it <laughs> shop where the heck is the extras menu? Hold on, go back. Controls, credits, full release. Where, do you guys see the extras menu button? <laughs> Am I missing it? <laughs> Settings, maybe? No. I have no, oh, the poster button isn't here either. I, I, I don't know. I feel like it's like right in front of me and I'm missing it. There's that, which I don't think that's the extras menu button. There, there's nothing here. There's play, shop. Okay, hold on, maybe if I go play, no, there's nothing here. Okay, we go back. There's shop, which we already looked through the whole thing. It's not in here. Yeah, not in here. Settings, we already looked through. Controls. <laughs> Is he in the controls? <laughs> Maybe it's one of these random buttons down here. No, that brings up his website. So that's not it. That's his YouTube. That's the credits. And I, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, what, what else do we have here? Um, there are secrets outside of the world. Ooh, use Scott's ability. Okay, let's see here. So Scott is right here. Uh, let's do FNAF 1 since we need to go outside the world. And he says, use the ability, and that's it. He doesn't tell us anything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and press activate, and let's start flying. Oh, look, he disappears whenever we go out here. All right, let's go ahead and start flying around as uh, Scott. It looks so funny how he's just floating around. All right, so but where outside? Wait, why is there a car under the map? Huh? Ah, a police car hanging out down here. All right, let's see if we spot anything. So I see the pit Bonnie back there. Um, I don't see anything out here though. 
It doesn't say where outside the map, though. It just kind of says outside the map. Okay, so wait. We can't go that way, no matter what. So there, there's there's walls here, no matter what. So it has to be in this area somewhere. I see this down here, but we already know this is... Yeah. This is the, uh, the Pizzeria Sim location down here. Is there anything else out here, though, that maybe we're missing? Like, through the walls or... Okay, so we see this is sister location, so nothing new there. Um, underneath the map, we have him. We've seen him before, though. Yeah, he, we've seen him. He's not really anything new out here. Because you can see him. Oh, that's what's out here. Oh. So, wait, we've seen this, though, in the Pit Bonnie Easter egg. Yeah, or, or the secret. So, we, we, that's nothing new. See so if we go down here, maybe we can spot anything. Oh, look, we're underwater. That's cool. <laughs> Remember whenever we went inside of Pit Bonnie's butt, we went under. Uh-oh. Look, it broke the game. I don't know why. If you go to a certain part, like the bottom of the map, it just completely bricks your game. So, like, I, I can't do it. I have to restart the whole game now. <laughs> I don't know why it does that down there, but I, I have no idea. Okay, so the last thing he says is, if you want, I can send you a dev version to maybe hack a bit around. Unless you use Unreal Unlocker. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Let's just let's load up Unreal Unlocker and let's just fly around. If you guys don't know what this is, basically, it is a tool that lets you, like, fly anywhere you want um, on any game that's, like, Unreal Engine. For the most part, you can kind of like activate it and then fly everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and load it up right now. You guys are gonna see, I think you'll see it pop up on screen. Um, so I go ahead and inject and here we go. Oh, no, it doesn't show you guys. So now, though, I can go in as anyone that I want. Might as well do William. Why not? Might as well. Uh, and then what I do is I go ahead and press the tilde key, I think it's called. And you can do, um, oh, what is it? Okay, it is toggle debug camera. And what this will let us do is it lets you fly around, by the way, much faster than uh, whenever you're playing as Scott. So I think this is the way to go. And also, it'll allow us to fly through their invisible walls that they put up. So you guys know, usually there's like the wall here that we just saw. But because I'm in this, I can fly right through it. Like nothing. All right, like butter. All right, I just silk right through it. That's weird way of putting it but anyways uh let's see if we can spy anything else out here oh by the way he doesn't go away now look at that he's here so i guess if you play a scott he'll go away but if you use this he stays there interesting all right so let's see if we can spot anything out here though so this is the pit bonnie let's go down here uh we've got sister location which we've seen there's this weird area down here and over here wait that's sister location so this has to be p3 sim right I don't see anything though, so I'm not sure what he's talking about. It might be one of those things though that only loads in if you like approach it, which would make this very difficult to do. Um, now wait, if I go ahead and go over here and I do teleport, um, teleport our character. Oh, where am I? Uh oh, I think wherever I just teleported my character to is not somewhere I'm supposed to be. Oh no! Oh, we're good. Whoa! Why is it like this? What did I do? <laughs> I like broke it. Look, I could I know where we are. Yeah, this is Pizzeria Sam. Look, we've got the Fred Bear's Only Diner poster and stuff like that, but we have broken the game. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my look, everything's broken. Oh no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me teleport. Oh yeah, we've just broken everything. <laughs> we have just broken everything. Oh no. I think it's because I teleported him that it, everything is just destroyed now. Well, that's great. <laughs> But I don't I don't see anything out here anyways, so I, I'm not too sure what he wants us to find. I, it's gotta be something like tiny or I, I don't know, something that's like easy to miss. Because I don't I don't really see anything, so I, I don't know what to do about that one. Let's go back to the main menu though. I, I'm just I'm still trying to figure out where the extras menu button is, by the way. Uh oh. Wait, I think I broke the game. No, oh, we're back. Okay. <laughs> Doing that always just like it's a risky thing, because it's like it could just destroy your whole game. I, I just want, I really want to know though, what is this new ability that he says for Pit Spring Bonnie? Has a new ability in this update. Eleanor and Pit, like we saw, maybe he meant Entity? Because Entity had a new ability, so I don't, I don't know. At the start, he says Entity and Eleanor have a new ability. Also, Eleanor doesn't sit anymore. And last patch to make VR work, plus two new abilities. So yeah, he says two new ability, which would be Eleanor Entity. I don't know, maybe he was going to do a pit spring money. That's why he wrote that in the email and then didn't. I, I have no idea. Um, let's go ahead and go into the uh, the bottom area though. So yeah, playing as Pittsburgh money, there's no new ability. Let's go ahead and try out our Q though. Oh, we didn't hit it. Dang it. But yeah, I think that is all of the secrets. Now, I think the only thing left for us to really do, because um, we really don't need money, because I have so much of it. You know, we, I think we still have like 600K just sitting in there. Um, the only thing left to do is play the game in VR, which is going to be fun, I think. Now, he says at the start though, Last patch to make VR work. So I don't know. I haven't tried it at all. But that's going to be interesting to be able to like run around as like the animatronics and, you know, 
do all the killing in first person like that. I think it's going to be really cool to like see that. So uh, yeah, next video we do on this game will probably be that, unless there's some other secret that I can find or whatever. But we'll have to see. Come on in here. Oh, by the way, Baby's Nightmare Circus, it has a VR remake, and oh my, it's so scary. I was showing Doc on Discord because I was playing it. Um, it got taken down off of Game Jolt because it's like really buggy. But I was showing Docco, and oh my gosh, that game is so horrifying. So um, whenever that does get released again, and it, you know, without all the bugs, that's going to be a scary one to make. I'm only doing one video on it, though, for sure. Like, we're doing one video, and that's it. I'm not doing the whole game. No way. I it's i'm telling you it's so horrifying i only played for like a minute and it was the tutorial i didn't even play like the actual game and i was so scared <laughs> i was so scared all right well guys having this video here though we've done a lot we did a lot of secrets a lot of easter eggs the only thing like i said i have to do is vr and that easter egg that he says is outside the map um it says there are secrets outside of the world so there's like multiple you got ability. I, I don't know though. I, I, my guess is like the little goldy plushie that we've already seen with the pits money, uh, pits ring money Easter egg or boss fight, whatever. And then maybe some other stuff like uh, the T posing pit Bonnie. I, I don't know. I, there might be something else out there. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.